I think if quarantine goes on any longer, I am actually going to lose my mind. Anyway, let me start opening my Boohoo delivery. Okay, so next outfit is another post-quarantine night out outfit. I am loving this denim jacket. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to a very fresh to face me. I've just got out of the shower. My hair is obviously still wet. Um, and I just thought, well, today I'm gonna vlog because I have a couple of deliveries. I wanna show you some new outfits today from Boohoo. And, um, and yeah, it's been the first time I've vlogged in about, well, it's been the first time I've vlogged in absolutely ages, but the first time I've come back on YouTube in about two weeks. So I'm just looking for my face moisturiser. So as many of you know, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I had a little bit of a break for about, I think it was nine days altogether. It was very much needed. Um, and yeah, but I'm back. I'm feeling okay. I have to admit just recently, I have felt a little bit sad in myself. I am... Um, why when you say that you feel like you're gonna cry? I'll be fine, two minutes. I'm fine. Um, yeah, I've just not been having really the best time for personal reasons and I feel like a lot of people are feeling the same way with everything going on um, in the world and also with quarantine just getting to us all a lot. It's just been a lot, you know. By the way, I'm putting on La roche -Posay, um sun cream. Back to 50. We all need our sun cream in our lives, guys. We do not want those wrinkles. By the way, look how freckly I am at the moment and my skin is not great. Um, I've had a breakout. I think it was like a stress breakout, but luckily it's clearing up a little bit now, but I've seen better skin days, that's for sure. And I go with my moisturiser. By the way, I'm just going to do a little chatty get ready with me. Um, I'm just going to show you like a everyday makeup look, a look that's like an everyday makeup look, but a no makeup makeup look. How many times have I just said makeup? Do you know what I mean? So this moisturiser is also La roche -Posay. I love their products. My skin doctor, so I go to like a skin specialist. I keep saying I'm gonna say this, but I will do a whole skin video at some point. The reason I haven't done it is because every single time I think I'm gonna do it, I have a breakout. And then I think who's going to want to watch a skin video where I've not got great skin? But my skin is so much better than it used to be. Honestly, the texture and everything of it. Um, so I will definitely do that soon. But the reason I got off onto that tangent is because my skin doctor recommends me to use La roche -Posay products and I've been using them for, I'd say, about eight months, and I absolutely love them. This particular cream is probably too thick for the average person. The reason I use it is I use a very strong retinol prescribed acne cream, so it gives me rashes on my forearm, I don't think that acne cream, um, but it obviously helps my skin, but it also dries it out, so that's why I use that moisturiser. That was a long-winded way of telling you what moisturiser I use, wasn't it? The next product I then use is the MAC Face and Body. I use this in the colour, I think it's NC25. Um, love this product. When my skin's perfect or I'm on holiday, I tend to just use this and no other foundation. It's really lightweight, but just almost gives you like a tinted moisturiser kind of glow. Um, at the minute, my skin, as we've just said, isn't really the best. So I will be going in with like extra foundation today. Um, but you'll just see in a minute, it just covers your skin but just perfect for those summer days because it doesn't make you look cakey at all. I have to drag it down my neck a lot. I've got no fake tan on. Can you see how pale I am? <laughs> and so I don't really think my face is going to match my body too much today, but it's okay. I'm not leaving the house, so only you guys are going to see me. So for my foundation, and this is something I regularly get asked, I always used to use this one, which is Giorgio Armani Power Fabric. I still love this foundation, but I find it quite heavy especially for the summer and also as my skin's got better I just find it a little bit cakey so I've been steering more to the luminous silk which I do love it's got less coverage and it's a much more like glowier finish rather than the power fabric is more of a matte finish I actually mix it with a bobbi brown um foundation and I, this is the bobbi brown it's called an intensive skin serum I actually love this as well but once again it's a really light um like non-cakey kind of texture neither of them are full coverage but as i say at the moment i don't really feel like i need full coverage and especially just for like days at home it's just pretty much just to cover any imperfections i've got so i just blend that in with a beauty blender i can't live without one of these guys everyone needs a beauty blender i say that every single time i use a beauty blender on camera but it's true they are a game changer Right, that is pretty much my foundation on. As you can see, it's really light coverage, so you can still see my freckles, but it's just got rid of the spots that you can really see. <laughs> I then go in with my concealer. I use the Maybelline, it's called the Easy Eraser. This is super cheap, but I have used more expensive concealers over the years, but this one, I just love. And so if it's cheap, why not? 
Um, I'm just going to go over like my blemishes, so like my little spots that I've got. And underneath my eye bags, because for some reason today I'm extremely tired. My dreams just recently have been so wild, I can't even explain. You know when you wake up from a sleep and you feel exhausted because you're just not well rested, because your dreams are so vivid, it's just oh horrible next up just to set my makeup i use this it's the charlotte tilbury it's called the flawless airbrush finish no airbrush flawless finish somewhere around it's basically empty i do need a new one of these but they're always out of stock online so i'm going to try my best to find a place that's got them in stock so i can link it for you guys down below this powder is my all-time favorite and then just using the laura mercier setting powder just on the bits of my face that get extra shiny I do like this powder, but I do find it's a bit cakey. I love that word. How many times am I going to say this word? But I just can't stand like cloggy, clumpy makeup. I think it looks horrible. So I'm going to try and steer away from that. Next, I go in with this. This is one of my Holy Grail products. It is the Chanel Universal Bronzer. I feel everyone's seen or heard about this product, but it is brilliant. So it's kind of like a creamy bronzer. And I just use it for my cheekbones and I use it for my forehead. To be honest, I use this all over my face. But it's just such a nice product. It's so blendable. It is quite pricey, but it does last forever. I think I've had this one since, I don't know, maybe November of last year. So even though it's pricey, it does go a long way. I then just go in as well with my big powder brush just to kind of brighten up. Well, just to tan up my whole face. I'm going to tan my neck as well because... Like I said, nothing kind of matches right now. But can you see already how much like a glow it gives you? I love, love that product. Just to add a little bit more definition to my cheekbones, I use the Hoola Bronzer from Benefit. This is in the colour Caramel, I believe. And just to kind of run it up the sides, just to, you know, give me a little bit more definition because I could definitely do that with all the stuff I've been eating in quarantine. Things like my cheekbones are a bit non-existent at the moment. <laughs> Don't know if anyone else can relate. I was doing so well at the beginning, but I just kind of have fallen off the whole bandwagon. And well, last night I had an Indian takeaway. I've had three McDonald's this week and I have absolutely no shame about it. Next, I'm gonna go in with my brows. And brows are something that I've actually changed up quite a lot just recently. I used to do really kind of strong, defined brows, which I still do like, but for an everyday makeup look, they just look ridiculous. I'm gonna put it out there. They look absolutely stupid. So, I have just been using this, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil. I use it in the colour Soft Brown. So, one side's a spoolie, and then the other side is just a eyebrow pencil. And I just fill in the gaps of my eyebrow and just do it really lightly. And I just think it looks a lot better than it being really kind of defined eyebrows. I will still do my defined iron brows, but when I'm going on nights out and when my makeup's a lot heavier, this is very light makeup, so it just looks ridiculous to have really heavy brows with it. So that's pretty much the sum total of what I do to my brows. Oh, actually, I do go over with this. This came in a set, by the way. I can't remember where I got it from. I'll try and link the set down below because it's actually really good. This is a um, brow gel, but it's tinted. So I just go over the ends of my brows with the brow gel just to kind of define them slightly. And that's my everyday brows. I mean, don't get me wrong. Let me get a little bit closer. You probably can't really see them. Um, they don't look amazing. They don't look perfect. But I kind of like that whole rough kind of vibe, you know. And then go in with this. This is absolutely disgusting because it exploded in my makeup bag. But this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Wand or something. It's a highlight. Absolutely love this. It blends really easily, which I love because I often find that highlights kind of split your makeup in a weird way. But I pop this on the top of my cheekbones once again to try and define something that's there and on the tip of my nose. For lips, I would usually line them, overline them, then use a lipstick, then use a lip gloss. But today I'm just going to do a little bit of lining. This is the MAC Boldly Bare Lip Liner. Actually needs a sharpen. I use this all the time. It's my favourite ever lip liner. You rarely see me with anything else on other than this. Just suits my skin tone and I absolutely love it. But yeah, I just wanted to pop that on just to add a little bit of colour. But I'm actually just going to be using like a chapstick. My lips have been so dry just recently. This is the La roche -Posay. It's called the... I'm not even going to try and say it. But I love this product. It's the same as all my um, face creams and stuff. The same company. And yeah, it's just really good. Especially if you've got dry lips. So my last step to my makeup routine is eyelashes. Now you know if you follow me on Insta... 
I always, well even if you knew me from YouTube before, always wear eyelash extensions pre-quarantine. Obviously can't get them done. So I've been growing my natural lashes and guys, they have grown so, so much. I can't even explain to you. Like I'm actually gobsmacked. If you want me to do like a whole um, video on kind of hair growth, brows, eyelashes, let me know. Because I actually feel like I've got some good tips for you. I like well it worked for me so okay so for mascara i'm using the mark jacobs one i actually got sent this as a pr product last week i've used it every day since it's amazing 100 percent rate this mascara and it does make your lashes look so much longer which obviously even though my lashes have grown they're not as long as i want them to be so can you believe they are my own eyelashes i mean if you remember what they used to be like, you'll be as happy and gobsmacked as me. If you don't remember what they used to be like, you'll just be thinking they still look like shit lashes. <laughs> but I think they look so long. But anyway, this is my everyday, easy, quick, no makeup, makeup routine. I'll obviously link all the products down below. Anyway, I need to go and dry this mop of her hair. I'm gonna use um, my Dyson because that's always fun. Um, and then I will show you my new outfits. Guys, look at the size of these bags full of new clothes from Boohoo. After I've done my hair, I'm going to show you what's inside of them. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is my Dyson Air Out. I'm not going to show you how to do it because there's a whole video on that already. But I am so in love with this thing. Sorry, I was just checking which attachment I need. It's amazing. It's changed my hair life. And well, as you can see, this is my hair right now. And it's damp. It's not long out of the shower. And well, you'll see it in about 10 minutes. It will look like I've just strolled out of the hairdressers, which is a dream come true. So yeah, watch the magic happen, guys. Dyson first impression video you know what I'm talking about now but in that video I spoke about the fact that I found the Dyson barrels were really short but they do longer barrels this is the longer one um, and they honestly answer long hair prayers because I don't have any issues anymore it wraps it up straight away and yeah this is definitely one of my favorite things that I got in the whole of 2020 it's changed my hair life a lot and 10 minutes later, here we have it. Ta-da! See, you can see why I absolutely love that hair tool. Look what it does to your hair. I didn't leave it running the whole time, as in I didn't leave the camera running, because there's another video on how I do this. But honestly, it takes 10 minutes. It's looking a little bit poodly right now, because obviously the curls are still really tight. But in the next half an hour, it will drop a little bit, and then it just stays like this until I rewash my hair, which is insane. It's like a salon blow dry without going to the salon. I said that before, but it's very much true. Anyway, let me start opening my Boohoo delivery. Okay, so when I placed this order, I actually made up outfits. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to show you a load of put together outfits. I think I'm gonna have to get my steamer out. By the way, if you do a lot of online shopping like me, you need to invest in a steamer because it is a life-changing product. <laughs> okay, I can't explain to you guys how much stuff is here i'm gonna open it all up remember what outfits i kind of put together steam it all and then i'm gonna show you in the mirror okay so outfit number one is a very comfy one i feel like i don't even want to get changed out of this because chill vibes is me all around at the moment well all the time anyway but especially in quarantine so it matches but i actually bought them as separate so i've got on a pair of cycling shorts as you can see i've got these on in a size either medium or a 10 I'll link them all down below and I'll write the sizes next to it. They definitely fit true to size though. They're such a good fit. And do you know what? The quality is really good. So I sometimes find with cycling shorts, they don't hold you in very well because sometimes the material is really thin. But these ones aren't at all. They're really nice. I then just got on an oversized kind of jumper just to go over the top. And then I just got on a pair of trainers. So this is, I mean, perfect quarantine outfit just for running errands and stuff like that. If you don't want to wear the jumper because obviously it could be a little bit hot, just wear it with like a white tee instead have actually got a white t-shirt, I'll show you that on. Okay, so same cycling shorts and trainers, but I've switched it up and popped on a white tee, obviously from Boohoo as well, and then just put this shacket over the top. Isn't that such a weird name, shacket? What it is, it's a jacket that is also a shirt, which makes it a shacket, but how perfectly does this go with my grey cycling shorts? These kind of outfits are a favourite for me because they're super comfy, but... 
I mean, in my opinion, they're also really cool. This jacket comes down quite long, so it covers your bum in the cycling shorts because sometimes bums in cycling shorts are not always a vibe. So I quite like the fact that this covers it. Do you know, the quality of all this stuff, I am so impressed with because price-wise, it was so, so affordable. Oh, and actually, this is perfect timing for me to mention about me wearing jackets in summer. Because in my last video, I got slated for wearing jackets all the time. Because people on that video were saying things like, who wears jackets in summer? Blah, 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 blah. I mean, those people can't live in the UK. Because I am from the UK. And trust me, unfortunately, it's not always that warm. Even in the height of the summer, you still need a jacket, guys. So shirt jackets are perfect because they give you a little bit of warmth but aren't too hot. So yeah, if you think I've gone crazy, try coming to the UK in the summer because it's never really that warm. <laughs> okay, so next outfit is very similar to my first. I often pick up basic pieces at Boohoo and stuff because I just find the quality really good and they're also just so, so affordable. So this time I've got on black cycling shorts, which by the way, these came in a two pack, which I thought was really cool. So you've got two pairs for, I can't remember the price, but it was not a lot of money at all. Like I say, everything will be linked down below. They're once again, really good quality, like the gray ones were. I then have a oversized black jumper over the top. I think I'm wearing this in a size large, by the way. So the shorts are in a smaller size, like my regular size. And then I've got all the jumpers in a large, so they just look bigger. I've just then paired it with a pair of boots. And I just think this is a really cool vibe. I've then just got on my Louis Vuitton backpack. These are the kind of outfits I go get my hair done in or my nails or just chill at home. The kind of outfits where you're not feel restricted like, I don't get me wrong I love wearing jeans but no one likes to chill in jeans let's face it there's a meme about that only psychopaths wear jeans to chill so these are my kind of chill outfits you still look cool but you're super comfy at the same time okay next outfit is this I am loving this denim jacket it's really lightweight it's this kind of khaki color I have multiple denim jackets I have black ones white ones denim ones but I don't own a khaki one so I am definitely happy to see this one in my wardrobe I have it in a few sizes larger than my regular size so it just fits a little bit more like an oversized fit I've just paired it with a little t-shirt dress my backpack and then just my trainers and I think this is a perfect little summer look and I know, once again, everyone's going to moan about the fact I've got a jacket on. But trust me, it's needed in the British summertime. You could also wear this jacket with any of the cycling shorts I've shown you. It'd look really cool with like a white hoodie underneath it as well. Let me just get a little bit closer just so you can see the true colour of it. I absolutely love this. So I've gone from extremely casual to a little bit dressier because I hope that you lot are as excited about this as me. But in the next few weeks, we are going to be allowed out because the pubs, clubs, bars and restaurants are going to be reopened in the UK. I can hear you all cheering from here. I am so excited about it, honestly. I've been planning post-quarantine night out outfits like you wouldn't believe. This is one of them. This is the kind of outfit I'd wear to like dinner or drinks or something like that. So obviously this is all from Boohoo. I'm going to start with the top. Now I think this top looks so expensive. It's got these little cut out like parts on these shoulders. So it kind of looks a little bit sexy. Imagine if you had a nice tan. Um, and then it kind of comes in tight here. So you could show a little bit of like your stomach off if you wanted to. Then it comes up high neck. I always think high neck things make it look classier. I don't know if that's just me, but I feel like that's always a vibe. And then I've got on a pair of jeans. Now the only thing I will say is I'm a size 8 to 10. Um, I picked up these jeans in a size 10 and they are quite big. So if you're in between sizes, definitely size down. But overall, I then popped on like these little sling back heels also from Boohoo, which fit true to size, by the way. I think this would be such a nice outfit post quarantine. Oh my God, I'm excited already just to get all dressed up for a bar or for a restaurant. I mean, you could wear this to a club as well if you wanted. I'm not much of a clubber. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not much of a clubber, but... I'm never going to take for granted a night out again post this whole period. Like, they are going to hit differently and any night I ever get invited out on, I'm not going to say, oh no, girls, like I can't make it. Like, you know, I'm really busy. No, I'm going. Trust me, I'm going. So I feel like possibly one of the most basic outfits of all time is a white tee and a pair of jeans. And here we are. 
So this t-shirt is the one from earlier, the one that I wore with the check jacket. It comes down quite a bit longer if I pulled it out, as you can see. But I've got it on with a pair of skinny jeans. I have a newfound love for skinny jeans. You've just seen the black ones, and now I've got on blue ones. If you follow me on Insta, you know that I regularly wear mum jeans. But I love a skinny jean, and they are really flattering. These ones fit a lot better than the black ones do. So I have these in a size 10. I probably could have gone down to a size 8, but they do fit... Like they're nowhere near as big as the black ones so if you're going to buy these ones just get your regular size or if you prefer things a little bit tighter size down if you know if you're in between sizes but yeah this is a really simple outfit there's not really much i can say about it other than for the price it's really lovely quality and even though it's the most basic outfit of all time everyone needs a white tee and a good pair of jeans in their wardrobe trust me Okay, next outfit, another essential piece. I actually picked this up in white as well. And what it is, is an oversized jumper dress. So how easy is this just to chuck on with a pair of trainers like I've got on right now? Same again, just with my backpack. You can wear this with leggings, you could wear this with jeans if you didn't wanna wear your legs out, for example. But in the summer, perfect thing just to chuck on and be really easy. And once again, it's not too hot. It has got a slight fleecy material inside, but for UK summer, it's absolutely fine especially on days like today like i said about the first outfit it's never that warm <laughs> well don't get me wrong we do have the odd day that's really that warm but the majority of the time this kind of stuff is perfect so as i knew it was going to be perfect i picked it up in a crisp white color as well absolutely love this imagine this against a really good tan which is something i don't have right now <laughs> because i didn't fake tan like i told you earlier but the only thing i'd say is they do come down quite long but i am only five foot three so on me it is this kind of length but i mean i could actually cut it but then again i don't actually think it's too bad of a length really i wouldn't want it to be too short i have this i think in a size large i know i've already said it but i will just check all the sizes i ordered and then just write it next to the links down below just so you all know a rough size guide for what i've ordered okay so next outfit is another post quarantine night out outfit so i've got my cycling shorts back on obviously came in a two pack so i've got enough of those and then i've got on this little cropped black blazer jacket it's got shoulder pads in and i always feel like shoulder pads make everything look so much more expensive and also with shoulder pads they make your waist look smaller because they kind of like pull your shoulders out which make your waist look small do you know what I mean? Does that even make sense? So with this looking bigger here, this looks smaller here. And I feel like we always want a smaller waist. Well, I definitely do anyway. <laughs> but I've just got it back on with those black shoes from earlier, the ones that I wore with the last black night out outfit. And obviously this is more like kind of a clubbing outfit. I probably wouldn't be wearing this to dinner, but definitely more for kind of a proper night out. And once again, just really inexpensive, but just really nice. And also it's really comfy because cycling shorts are so comfy. Well, that was everything, but like most things I show you in my hauls, everything can be mixed and matched. For the rest of the day, I'm just gonna wear one of the pairs of cycling shorts with this white tee. And I also have some really cute shoes on, by the way. Do you want to see them? They are unicorns. How cute are they? I got them for my birthday, and I don't think I've even worn them yet. So yeah, this is my at-home outfit of the day today, guys. <laughs> so chic well now i've finished my try on i am so hungry i'm gonna get some food i've actually just been on the phone to a friend and i feel like for some reason this part of quarantine everyone is struggling so much every single friend i speak to is just in a bad way and it just seems that if quarantine doesn't end soon we're all going to lose our minds so Three weeks can't come quick enough. I just want to show you all around our house a really lovely flowers because it was my mum's birthday the other day. So here are some sunflowers. And these flowers I bought her, now they are on kind of their last legs a little bit, but when I got them, they were amazing. I got them off of like a flower stall, like a market stall, and they were insane. Um, but yeah, they don't look so pretty now. Well, I've just made myself the most nutritional lunch ever. It's a Rivita with Marmite cheese and butter. I know, I am a top chef. I think I'm actually gonna wrap this vlog up here because I actually have another video to film today, so I'm gonna start doing that. But I just wanna say thank you so much to you all for watching. It's good to be back. I hope you're all doing okay. I know a lot of us are feeling the same right now, but just trust me with this one, that soon we'll be back to living our best lives, out and about, this will feel like a total distant memory. And if any of you are super struggling, my DMs are always open on Instagram. But just know that you're not alone in the way that you're feeling and I can 100% relate. Sending you all so much love and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye guys.